Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Tanushi and in this video I'll be giving you all the details on creating this outfit from my mum sari. Starting with what you'll need obviously is a sari, preferably in a flowy and lightweight fabric like chiffon, georgette in a pastel color or any color you think looks good on you. Second, what was my inspiration? I was inspired by this red velvet sharara suit which was worn by Alia Bhatt. Now I felt the need to customize it as per my style and comfort. So I decided to get this stitched with little tweaks here and there. The kurti which I got stitched was a straight knee length. It had an open neck with thin straps. To add grace to the straps, I added golden pipe in on them. Guys, open necks are very much in fashion these days. So why not to try something which is in trend? Coming on to the garara, the garara was fitted from the waist to the knees. There is a thick band right above the knees where the cloth is rushed, resulting in a flare to the toes. Now this is one of the main things I would like to tell you guys, here is to wear stuff that is your style. There is no harm in drawing inspiration from celebs, brands and bloggers, but it is also important to stay true to what you like and what you are comfortable in. So now moving on to the rest of styling details, talking about the footwears first, you can feel free to team it up with high heels, stilettos, flats or wedges. Talking about the jewellery, I wore bold earrings and a mang tikka and kept my neck open to add extra sassiness to my look. For the dupatta, I purchased a net dupatta from the market and got it coloured in the same colour as of the kurti. I wore this outfit from my sister's engagement ceremony and it turned out really well. Let me know by leaving a comment if you would like to see some more ideas on DIY outfits. So that is it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next week. Till then, don't forget to stay stylish.